¿Ah? ¿Están grabando por ahí YouTube? Ah, sí, 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 sí. ¿Cómo se llama para seguirlos? Oh, en inglés es Juana Now, pero en español. ¿Por qué? Welcome to our channel, Juana Now. My name is Steven. This is my lovely wife, Lisa Marie. Coming from you from the beautiful Aguas Calientes, Mexico, from the Feria de San Marcos 2022. What are we doing today, babe? As you all know, on our channel here, we are all about living in Mexico. We live here in Aguas Calientes. You know, we are residents of Mexico. We've been living in Mexico for almost two years now. But now it's a special time. Why? Because it is the La Feria de San Marcos. And we haven't had the Feria in two years. And as you all know, we are showing you different parts of La Feria. So make sure you check out our previous videos because we showed you all kinds of different parts of the La, La Feria at different times of day in, in the evening at night we went to the Isla de San Marcos now we're going to show you for those of you who like to shop who like artisanal goods we're going to show you a completely different part excuse the helicopter we got some great security seguridad is muy bueno aquí en aguas calientes gracias a aguas calientes so we're going to show you the I guess it's pabellón Mexico artisanal I hope I said it right yeah, close enough. <laughs> so we're gonna show you what's going oh, on up here. And, and before I forget, I mentioned this in one of our other videos. So we haven't had the fair for the two for two years. And in 2019, I believe the guest of honor was the Yucatan. So the guest of honor is Yucatan again here in 2022. So you're gonna see a lot of products in there from the Yucatan, from Merida, from all over. It's, it's a good mixture in there. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. So let's go ahead and show you what's going on up in here. <clears throat> so it's right it's next right to across yeah i was about to say it's right across from the plaza de monumento turtles mm -hmm. i probably said it all wrong but <laughs> close enough yeah and it's a hot day once again here it's been warm yeah it has in the 90s. so what do we have here uh looks like is that mess that's not mess cal is it yeah, maybe mess no we can start and just head on down different now yeah, it is. There's something for everyone. Oh, shit. Yeah. You see all? Hola? Uh-huh. Well, oh, gracias. So. Oh, nice. It's like a very fresh scent. I can't describe it. Oh, gosh, smell this. What do you think that is? It reminds you of that real bathroom, soapy, clean, fresh Lavender, scent. yeah. yeah so and, and, they, and I guess it's hecha en mano, no? Hecha en mano. So it's all handmade, and you can see they decorated here with some beautiful stones. Yeah. So it's really pretty. And cuánto, cuánto cuesta? Es a 120. Okay, muchas gracias. So 120 pesos for something like this, handmade. And they have all different types. Muchas gracias por ayudarme con mi español. Gracias. And they have all different types. They look like some of those. Is that bath salts? Bath salts, yep. Yeah. Okay, muchas gracias. <laughs> Of course, they have little treats and everything over there that they're making. They like coffees. All kind of shawls, scarves, and hats. Some more, looks like maybe some sh oh, shampoo, um, conditioners, maybe, yeah. na maybe natural meat products. When is that? What is that? No, gracias. Then on this side, they have a lot of bracelets. A lot of those hands. And they're actually making them right now. Oh, yes, she's Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I bought one of something similar, similar to one of these in Querétaro, I remember. Yeah. But you can see how they, they work to create them right there. She's got the little plate of beads and she's making them. Oh. So you can come here, and I'm pretty sure if you came here and, and you spoke Spanish and you said, hey, I want you to create something with these colors, and you let her know ahead of time, and you came back the next day, I'm pretty sure they would do it for you. Yeah. You have your jewelry right here, your plata. Plata, oro. Plata, oro. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Plata, plata. Todos plata. Ah, because I was 
looking for some little earrings. I told my husband. ¿Y cuánto cuesta, por ejemplo, esta? Oh, aquí. ¿Me lo permite? Oh, sí, sí, sí. Gracias. Gracias. You're looking for some silver or gold earrings, right? Yeah. El 140. El 140. El plata todo. Ah. Ley número 25. Okay. No tiene una que, que es un combinado plata con, con oro. oro de uh, it's not real gold. I forgot how you say it in English, but it's it's um, aluminado. Sí, but yes, gold plated. Thank you. Gold plated. And silver together. It's combination. Hey, ¿cuánto cuesta? Ah, pero sobre la plata y viene el baño de oro. Okay. So 550 pesos for something like this. And these are really good. You, I mean, you can just clean them at home with a cloth and it keeps it in good condition. Yeah, that's true. Todo esta plata. Claro, que sí. Sí, te lo puedes probar. Tenemos desde el número 2. Muchas gracias. Para servirles. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of handmade items over here. Ah, sí. So it's a table runner. ¿De cuánto cuesta? 800 pesos. So this is all made by hand by him, and it's 800 pesos for this long table runner. So look at the detail, the yeah. qué color, all the different colors and designs here. ¿Y cuánto tiempo para hacerlo una cosa como este? Cinco días. Cinco días. Wow. He makes this in, in five days. Yeah. That's incredible. Increíble. <laughs> you do es una machine, a una máquina, ¿no? Yo creo dos meses, una mes, mínimo. ¿Cómo eres? ¿Tú eres de Yucatán o no? Estado de México, de la sala Mazagua. Ah, ok. Estado de México. Bueno, bueno. Muchas gracias. <clears throat> Come over here and find all these items over here in El Pabellón, Mexico, Artisanal. Yeah. Hola, buenas tardes. So you don't have to, if you want to get a wedding band, instead of spending all that money and get you a nice wedding band, be done. Simply, I mean, honestly. So this is the larger. I guess you could say the building. We can go over here and check this out. Oh, there's. And once again, it's over here. I'm gonna show you exactly where it's at. Over here, the Plaza de Manuel de Toro, Toros. And again, this, this, this video is for you people who love handmade crafts who like to shop. We are, we are doing different videos. If you like amusement parks, if you like family events, check it out East Coast San Marcos video. If you like the club scene, the partying, we showed you the countdown video. We're gonna do another video on that in the future, showing you around where the club area, where the gandinas are. If you like to eat, there's a ton of food. We'll probably do something showing you. We try to uh, we try to some more but we'll probably try some more food. So we're, we're showing you different parts, and maybe if we had the opportunity, some music. It just depends on getting into the venues is a little bit more tricky. So because they get they're free, um, so they get packed up so quickly. Very fast. We tried to get in yesterday, and we weren't able to close yeah. down right. Yeah, that's true. As they say down here, la para that. Which way do you want to start? Let's go. Oh, I don't know. Let's yeah, let's just circle. Let's just walk, circle around this way. So pretty much, I'm gonna keep this video just rolling, like you're really walking around with us.
We're seeing what we're seeing. It looks like business is on this side. Like uh, selling some goods and products. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah. Right. And look how well these guys are not like our dogs. These guys are well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> one of these hummingbirds like this in Querétaro. Yeah, I actually a couple and I gave some to a couple of my family members and I have a couple that I just love. Yeah. I mean, you had a guy that got to receive a gift like this from someone, so they got it from Colombia. In, in Colombia, they were making Colombia, yeah, Colombia.
right across from this area on the side street over there. Right. If you, so if you walk towards the sidewalk, like if you're coming on the outside of, of, of the main, across from Foro, Foro de Estrellas, but they're on the, the side street on the outside of that, you'll see that they have a booth there. Everything from clothing to uh, pocketbooks to all kinds of beautiful things handmade all from the continent of Africa. So make sure you check them out. Tell them, tell James and Trio he sent you over there. That's right. <laughs> they're, they're, they're making you a discount. I don't know. So over here you have the like the bumper cars over there. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Solonillos. Okay. I thought maybe we could get on there. You know, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. So I remember when I was a kid. I have I have fond memories. So we didn't get to go out too much. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to live a really simple life. My father was a hard worker. So he worked almost seven days a week. But I do remember on a few rare occasions we were able to go out with my uncle when I was really small. We would travel up to the Catskills in New York. It's really beautiful. Get a cabin, and they had this amazing these gold carts out there, and we would all get in them. It was just one of the best memories I have. Just zooming around that thing, and it explains why I like speeding now, which is why he doesn't like me to drive. <laughs> hey, who knows? We may go check out the um, is a, a bumper car. Uh,
Sí, sí, sí. sí. Finally, we made it over here to a quiet place. And also, we picked up something to eat real quick. One three, of our favorite treats, huh? Yeah, three hot dogs for 50 pesos. So, we're gonna sit and eat on that. Wife, you say she may try to find some good cheese fries or something like Maybe, that. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and end the video. I guess it's all right. We ended as always, do. We hope you enjoyed that little tour of the artisanal area and more to come. Yeah. Um, if you're new to our channel, make sure you check out the rest of our video library because we have a plethora, a plethora of information on everything from how to obtain your residency here in Mexico to neighborhood tours in Queretaro to apartment tours to how to travel with your dogs. We have two dogs, one who has um, seizures and has motion sickness. We've been around and you know we've been in Oaxaca for a while. We went to Mazatlan. We lived in Queretaro for over a year. We traveled to Pueblo City and to many, many, many other places. So be sure to check out our videos. And now we live here in Aguas Calientes. We've been here for three months. Our hope is to stay here more long, long term because we absolutely love, 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 love Aguas Calientes. It feels really good. Feels like home. So we hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. So we'll end it as we always do. Live the life that you were meant to live. Is, is, my, is my pointing bothering you? Somebody was saying that my pointing was aggressive. You know that doesn't mean, you, you know this doesn't mean anything bad. Italian. People Italian. love just getting in the comments and saying, yeah.